<laughs> okay, we're back here on Monterey on tonight. I'm Gary Morris. We're here every Sunday night from 6 to 9 o'clock, streaming live on the Internet at KMBYTV.com and on two channels here in Monterey, channel 27.10 and on channel 19.4 for a little bit longer. And over in Fresno, we're on channel 27.1, KKDJ. And this lady sitting next to me, and I go way back, Many years, because <laughs> she and her husband, Tom Kay, this is Sandra Kay. Hi. She and her husband, Tom, and I go back to when I had the Home Shopping Network TV station in Fresno. That's right. And they had a business in Fresno. Can we say the name of the business way I, back then? I, I think way back then it was your home interiors. Your home interiors in Fresno, and you guys were doing... The very first five minute we call the mini infomercials. Oops, the screen went down. Are we off the air? Uh, I think Edmund was signing in to try to fix the thing. And I oh. Just, no, we're still up. It's we're still up. Just my screen went off. Okay. So, anyway, <laughs> uh, there we're back. We're back. <laughs> anyway, uh, what happened was way back then, this five minute infomercial got a lot of people into the Your Home Interior store. Yes, it and it did. was very unique. It yeah. was was doing something that had never been done in TV because we had five minutes out of the home shopping programming to be able to feature Tom and Sandra's show, store in Fresno, and they turned it into a show. It was a five minute show. It was a long broadcast. I remember that. Yeah, it was. So grateful to Gary. Oh you know? well. I mean, we were very young and. We were trying to get our business off the ground, and me and Gary helped us. And well, it made you guys made celebrities <laughs> because you both were on television. And all those people, the three people that did their t testimonials for our business yes. were celebrities. Um, I'm not at liberty to tell you, but one of them's still on TV. He's a weatherman. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Came into <laughs> your store. Really, yeah. I remember when someone said... When they saw the commercial, they said, is this network? Are these people on a network? I said, no, it's just Fresno. Fresno yeah, TV. Been a long time. Long time. Long time. But anyway, this lady has something that we're going to talk about tonight. First of all, coming up October <laughs> the uh, 21st in Fresno, Saturday night. Or it's actually Saturday afternoon from 1 to 5 p.m. Yes. It's a doggy fashion show. And I looked this up on YouTube, and my good buddy, Colin Doherty, That's right. was the master of ceremonies a few years back. Now, is he yes. going to do that this time? No, actually, we have Kopi coming oh, out. Oh, Kopi! <laughs> from Channel 26, and Christine uh, uh, Rose, who oh, was, is from the Grizzly Stadium and 24 and 30. Oh, wonderful. So we have, actually have two MCs coming two to the MCs show. Two MCs for the uh, doggy show, and this is... Uh, for the St. Francis, in fact, you probably see these little bags. Um, dogs dig them. And this one is peanut butter and honey, which I guess is one of the most popular, Sandra. Actually, yes. We, we have seven recipes, but this is the one that dogs love. Um, peanut butter and honey. Uh, it has a little story to it, and I'll just share that with you, Gary. Yeah, I tell, think. Me, tell um, me about it. Well, first of all, they're, they're wondering. I'm sure the audience is going, well, what's, what's the question? What's the connection with dog biscuits and this lady? Oh. Maybe maybe what we should do first, yeah. before we go into it, is show that little uh, YouTube clip from uh, Channel 47 in Fresno when you guys first started this. Okay. And that'll kind of educate our audience Perfect. a little bit. Dylan, can it. you roll that video first? A big boost for a local program that focuses on providing opportunities for women overcoming addiction. Today, the Roman Catholic Diocese of Fresno donated $50,000 to the St. Francis Homeless Project. CBS 47's Pedro Quintana shows us how it's giving those women a second chance at life. The kitchen at the Institute of Technology in Clovis has been busy these last few months changing lives. These women working together by making dog treats, which are made here in this kitchen and sold at 121 stores. When I tell people I make dog treats, they kind of laugh and say, what? <laughs> these ladies all have something in common. They're all in recovery, overcoming addictions. Jessica Ramirez is a graduate of the St. Francis Homeless Project. She just received her high school diploma and will begin taking classes at Fresno City College next week. She says this program has given her more confidence in herself. 
I have a car again, you know, I have three little girls, and I know I need to make something of my life for them. Today, the Roman Catholic Diocese of Fresno is supporting this program with a $50,000 check to help these women continue to grow and learn skills that will be applied in the workforce. We ask people, our Catholic people all over the country every year to contribute to the Catholic Campaign for Human Development, and then it's dispersed by the bishops of the United States all over this country. And it does absolutely wonderful hands-on support for things like this. We plan to use most of the $50,000 to employ more, more people. Uh, we're actually um, opening a second kitchen here at IOT. CEO and founder of St. Francis Homeless Project, Sandra Kay, says many success stories have come out of this kitchen. Our goal is to give them second chances and to help them to um, learn work skills and to get them employed. And we've been doing a very good job of that for nine years. Reporting in Clovis, Pedro Quintana, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Nice to see. Coming up next on Eyewitness News. All right, we're back. Uh, we're back, yes. You know, that, that, that story says it all. And I want to hear about how you had your vision in the first place to come up with this idea, because I remember when you first, you and Tom first told me about doing this, this goes back 10, 15 years. Um, what yes. was your vision? How did this happen, Sandra? I, I was actually at home, um, kind of feeling sorry for myself about some losses that I'd had, and, um, and then I realized how selfish I was being because I was watching a program on television where people were freezing to death on the streets and uh, the only thing keeping them, um, you know, warm were some dogs. So I just randomly got up and, and Googled dogs helping homelessness and only one thing came up, which I felt was kind of odd. And that was a shelter in Lawrence, Kansas where, um, people were actually producing dog treats as a work skill program. And before I knew it, I was on a plane and flying to Kansas to try to help some people here in our Fresno community to learn uh, you know, work skills. So my vision was not to be a shelter, but rather to be a work program. And we firmly believe that as a group that keeping busy and working and learning skills is the key to sobriety and the key to happiness and the key to stability for families. And you're going to be very happy to meet one of my first graduates that she's here with us tonight. Her name is Katie and she's going to tell you a story about the St. Francis Project next, I guess. Yes, she's our second guest tonight. But also um, the vision really is to help people out of um, homelessness, give them some hope, some faith um, in the Lord and in, in themselves. Yes. So that's the such, essence of our program. Such a great story, such a great story. And uh, you, your project is still ongoing as we yes. speak. Yes, <laughs> as we speak And it you is. have, now how many kitchens are you actually making? We have one to? kitchen now. COVID kind of shot us down. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 So we had to change gears and we could no longer stay at the Institute of Technology. So interestingly enough, we ended up at the Clovis Culinary School where there are a lot of chefs working in the kitchen. So it's a very busy place. It allows our women to um, intermix and, and learn skills and actually get other jobs in the culinary field uh -huh. right then and there if they want to. Yeah. Um, so they can help the other chefs with their food trucks and with preparations. And um, we're very, very proud of that kitchen and we're very, very proud of the women that, that manage it. Our supervisor takes care of um, all of the kitchen and baking uh, needs. And we, she is in a graduate of our program um, and so now she's a supervisor in the program and we really want to hire from within. So that's, that's our vision. Uh, this is our product. We have 135 stores now and the Save Mart stores joined us. So that's I think um, buy a bag of dog treats and, and help your community. Now, how do, how do folks 
Can you put this on a tight shot, uh, Dylan, for me, please? Uh, camera three there. Okay. Now, how can folks get these wonderful dog treats? Where do they go? I know you said Save Mart, but that's over in the Valley. Right. Do you have anyone over in the Monterey area that's offering these? No, not until I met Mariah. <laughs> <laughs> just a few minutes ago, and she's going to put them in uh, PG in oh, her what? new record store. There so you go. It's going to be home. And yeah. Well, we look. We are looking for more outlets, aren't we? <laughs> yes. Yes. On the coast for sure, and it just takes one day in Carmel. You know, to um, we're going to. Uh, I actually got a letter from Doris Day. You did. From the when Cypress she, Inn, I think. When she knew what you guys were doing, isn't she, that wonderful? She was a dog lover, as you know. She had seven dogs on her ranch, yeah. and um, they gave out our dog treats as samples over there at the Cypress. But just to get a letter from Doris Day was kind of, oh, yeah. well, <laughs> kind of special for us. And we'd love to be in more of the coastal areas because everybody loves their dogs. How many women now are involved that actually show up at the uh, kitchen there's there's where our cohorts are supposed to be 12 24 right now we're right at 12 but 12. they have all skills they we teach them driving skills we teach them resume building we teach them uh, how to deliver market package so, um, yeah label to all those things and although it sounds simple to some some of these women haven't had a job in their whole life oh, it's they amazing. were turned out as as kids you know to the streets to make money and they don't know anything that that is even available to them so as simple as the program seems the model is simple the dog gets a treat the woman gets the job it's and so we great. can't keep them on the shelves we cannot keep these you dog can't get enough of them the dogs can't the dogs can't get enough <laughs> the of women them. in the kitchen eat plenty. the saint francis homeless project incorporated let me read you the mission statement thank you to empower disadvantaged women through education and paid training and equip them to seek and find employment Community and work re-entry program. And yeah. this is the lady that came up with it right here in our own backyard. In yeah, my I'm hometown, not so sure I came up with it, but well, it was delivered you, somehow to me. Whatever so. you did, Sandra Kay, I, you know what? They should be building a statue to you. <laughs> A dog statue. A dog statue. <laughs> and put it somewhere so they can say, this is the lady that started this. What a marvelous story you have. Oh, Just thank you. I think I thank you. The... And your cohort in crime, my good friend Tom Kay. Yes, yes. He stood behind me through he's all of this. Through all of this. You're going to do what? And he's still doing, now he's doing remodeling. Yeah, we do. He's got his general contractor license, and so he's doing remodeling. What do you call that business? It's your home, home remodeling and your design. Home re there you go. Your home remodeling and <laughs> it's design. It's just an ex extension of, of we just you, yeah. Remodeling is you know a big business right now, and people aren't leaving their homes for remodeling. So, I'm very proud of Tom for all the hard work and. And he listens so well, and we I do interior design. That's my what I do in the other part of my life. That's so. another that's another <laughs> talent she has. <laughs> yeah. When so, I first met her, that's what she was doing. She had nothing to do with dog biscuits. Then. No, no. But I, I'm glad that I have the opportunity to serve and change people's environments. You have. I have the opportunity to, you, to you, change you, people's you, lives. You've too. done a wonderful job, and and. If someone out there is watching tonight and you want to order these, mm -hmm. you can call the telephone number 559-225-1548 uh, or go to St. Francis Homeless Projects at gmail.com. Is there a website up for you guys? St. Francis is, Homeless Project. Will you see if you can find that for me, Dylan? It's St. Francis Homeless Project, Inc., and it's a 501c3 nonprofit corporation. Yes, it is. We are a 501c3. Our designation came to us in the year of 2012. So you've uh, been around for a while. We're on GuideStar. You can look us up. Uh, we're very excited to send you products. Let me say the women will be very excited to send you products as they're yeah. learning skills too. That's so, so good. Now, how many? I know this is peanut butter uh, and honey. How many different treats? flavors do you have we have seven um trademarked flavors uh -huh. but there's a little complexity with um 
putting meat through some of the machinery. Oh, so we've wow. got to overcome that. And speaking of machinery, a local manufacturer in Fresno um, just made us uh, a machine that stamps out dog treats at five times the the normal that we were doing one wow, at a time wow, 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 wow. so we're grateful and and a panera bread company gave us a sheeting machine so people have been very kind oh. to us and helping us grow and overcome some of our obstacles um, well let's so let's promote one more time this sounds like a blast uh <laughs> the doggy fashion show that's coming up on october 21 where is this being held in madera Tesoro, yes. how do you say this? Tesoro Viegro? <laughs> yes, that would be fine with me. Amphitheater, okay. <laughs> and thanks to Karen McCaffrey, a local builder here in, in the Fresno area. And she's Madera in the Fresno area, area. okay. Uh, it's, it says five minutes from River Park, Treasure yeah, Hills and Red Dog. She's, uh, the amphitheater there is where we're having the event, thanks to Karen. And just to note uh, the way things kind of work, um, we're always surprised, but Comcast contacted us three days ago uh -huh. and is giving us a donation of ten thousand dollars oh my goodness how great is that <laughs> for us that's a lot of money oh, that's to help wonderful. a lot more people well thank you so. comcast that is wonderful absolutely well what a great thing you have done that you have started um the uh saint francis homeless project and uh, you can go to their website uh, dylan just had it on there for a couple of seconds if you want to go to the uh, event on Saturday, October 21, from 1 to 5 p.m., it's uh, from the streets to the runway. That's right. And um, it's, it's going to be something. It's going to be fun. Now, this is not the first time you've done this fashion show. No, I did two in San Francisco, which um, is on the flyer there. We did one at the fairgrounds for three days. Wow. So we had Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We all did dog shows, and what people come up with for their costumes is... It's amazing. So this year, I know we've got some uh, golden retrievers coming in bikinis. Oh. We've got some Frenchies <laughs> <laughs> coming as soccer players. Oh, my Lord. What people come up with, it's just going to be so fun. And, and on a side note, I, I just think that we need a lot of fun now. Yes, and we do. Yes, we don't do. need to be beaten up every single day with bad news. So That's we're right. the good news this club. This is the good news, absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here oh, tonight. Oh, God thank bless you, you God for bless everything you that too. you've done. <laughs> thank uh, you. October 21 in Fresno, actually Madeira, at the uh, Tesoro Viegro Amphitheater. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Anyway, all right. All Thank right. You, Sandra well, let's K. meet Katie. She's, yeah, she's let's, got a story oh, to tell. Katie's going to be here in the next hour as my second guest tonight, and she's got a story to tell. So stay tuned for that. Let's get back to a little bit more of Mr. Andy Williams.